Okay guys, this is my house tour. This is the front of the house. I'm gonna take y'all to the side of the house. Don't mind all this stuff right here. We need to get us a shed. But this is the carport. And then this is the front of the house. And this is a side door. Now we're gonna walk inside of the house. And when you walk inside of the house, to your right is the living room. And we have two windows on this side. And then right across from the living room, it's the dining room. As soon as you walk in, the dining room is to your left. And then the living room is to your right. And I'm doing this house tour because I know I have a few family members that wanted to see my home that did not get to see it. Um, when we moved in this home, the pandemic and the lockdown happened a few months later so we never really had family members well we never some of our family members never had a chance to look at our home but this is living room and dining area and then as you walk towards this way as you can see there's a bar and there's a kitchen and then from the kitchen view you can see the dining area and you can see the living room a little bit so that's the bar and this is the kitchen and I really really love this floor plan I like the way that the kitchen, you can see the living room and the dining room with, with the kitchen. I like that, I like an open kitchen. Well, of course it's not open, open because we have this bar, but you know, it's like open, like I can see things and I like that. But this is the kitchen. Oh, and um, the dining room has two windows also. So we have a lot of windows in this house is a room the first bedroom of the house and this is supposed to be my daughter's room this was my stepdaughter's room when she lived with us but she moved out and this was supposed to be Madison's room but she is scared to sleep by herself so she shares a room with her brother so this is like a catch-all space And as you can see, we store bikes and we plug up a lawnmower plug or batteries. I plug up my vacuum cleaner here. We store a little bit of food here too because we don't have a pantry. Uh, my decor items is in here. And, um, you know, a closet. And we have some things storage in there also. And then as you leave out of this room and you make a right, this is the closet for the uh, air conditioner unit and the hot water heater. And then this is the hallway. And then to your left is the bathroom, guest bathroom shall I say. And I I painted this bathroom and added these doors in here. We didn't have these doors. And I painted in here last summer. And I decorated in here last summer. So I didn't get to film. Uh, I wish I would have filmed me decorating in here. But yeah, this is bathroom. And as you walk in, you have the sink. You have drawers and stuff like that. Mirror. And then a wall. I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy with this camera. My camera movements. Sorry if I am. And then to your right, 
we have our uh, what they call it utility not utility closet we have our laundry room don't mind the laundry room <laughs> I need to fold some clothes and stuff like that but we have the laundry room inside of the bathroom and then it's the dryer and the washing machine and a few items that I use to mop and we got some extra stuff storage up here and this is <laughs> it's not too much too clean in here like I want it but yeah this is it and then toilet and then the bathtub right here out of the bathroom walk out into your left it's like a little hall area it's a small hall area and we have our ladders right here for now until we get our uh, shed, which hopefully is soon. There's like a little wall right here. And then as you walk straight ahead, this is my kids' room. They're laying down in the bed. <laughs> and like I said, they share a room. And this room is the biggest room in the house. This is supposed to be the master bedroom, but the builder made a mistake. But the builder, the people that he hired made a mistake and they did not put the bathroom in here. So I wanted the room with the bathroom in it. So we ended up getting the, the smaller room. But this is supposed to be the master bedroom. That's why it's so big, but it worked out perfectly fine because, mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> so this is supposed to be uh, the master bedroom, but it's the kids' room, and it worked out good because I can put two beds in here, and they have more than enough space to play and store some things. So this is the closet, window, window. Yep. So this is the master bedroom and it's not too small in here but it's not big either so it worked out with our king size bed I mean it's a little tight if we had a queen size bed it wouldn't be so tight in here but we had a king size so it's a little tight but it's not you know it's functional like we can move around and it's way bigger than the apartment that we were living in the bedroom in there way bigger and so this is the master, our master bedroom. And I have a little window here. And then the dresser area. I have some room right here. Our mirror is. And then this is the closet. TV. And then as you go towards this way, this is our bathroom. So like I said, the other room was supposed to be the master bedroom, but they ended up putting the uh, bathroom in the wrong room. So <laughs> we took this room and this is the bathroom. And I did a makeover on this bathroom. You guys should check that video out. I will leave that in the description box below. If y'all wanna see how I painted and decorated this bathroom. sink and then this is the tub toilet and then we have a little room right here too as you sit down on the toilet you can see uh, this area and then this is a utility closet where we can store towels and stuff This is my house tour, and um, so I want to show you, while I'm videoing the house tour, I want to show you guys a few things that I have planned. Uh, I plan on possibly doing like an accent wall in here, just to kind of spruce up the space. Um, I'm thinking maybe some wallpaper 
I'm not sure. I've been looking at a few Pinterest ideas and I'm just not sure yet. But I'm thinking about putting some wallpaper on this wall where the bed is at. And then I uh, plan on maybe putting some wallpaper on the bar area or putting, um, I don't know if you guys ever seen like on Pinterest where you can like put like some boards and then paint over it. It gives it like, you know, a little detail to your wall. Well, I'm thinking about doing that in here and that should be my next project, hopefully in the uh, kitchen area. Yep, so this is the end of my house tour. This house is small. It's 1,500 square foot, I wanna say. And it's small, it's small. But then again, it's not, it's, it's not too small, but it's not big either. And um, this house is, was built in 2019, I wanna say. Yeah, we purchased this home in September of 2019. And this is a new construction home. We are the first homeowners of this home. And this home is a blessing. This home was handpicked by God, I prayed. And we worked very, very hard to be able to purchase a home. We went through a lot to get this home. We went through trial after trial with uh, the whole home buying process and stuff with the with the uh what the people call the people at the, the bank people and all that we went through so much hell trying to get this house so this house is a blessing from god i pray that god will find us a nice beautiful home and he did he picked this one this one is the house that he picked and i'm so grateful for this home so this is the end of the house tour now i'm about to show you guys some more clips of the home give you a, a the last little overview of how this house looked so stick around for that